Footballers are in that bracket where they have riches, celebrity and girls jumping over fences to become the next wag. But let's take a look at the players who've ended up marrying the women they've been with since a very young age. Theo Walcott. Since Theo Walcott signed for Arsenal, Spain have won three international tournaments, Leicester City have played League One and Champions League football, and a bunch of then six-year-olds have won the World Cup. Alright, it was the Under-17 World Cup, but you get the idea. Hailed as the new Thierry Henry when he was presented in what looks like his dad's shirt, Walcott has never come close to realising anything that looks like potential, but it's not just Arsenal who he's been committed to. He married Melanie Slade in June 2013, a girl he'd been in a relationship with since 2004, back when he was a spotty-faced teenager with a future of disappointment at his feet. You might recognise Slade from her role in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, nothing to do with the fact that her boyfriend was the nephew of the director, of course. She's also had a small part in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. You probably won't remember her from that, considering 13 people worldwide went to see it. Anthony Martial. Give a teenager millions of pounds, a celebrity status and a lonely wife ordering him to come home for dinner and watch his eyes scream for help? We already knew this was no ordinary adolescent when he pitched up at Old Trafford in 2015 for £36 million, despite not even Wayne Rooney having a clue who or what he was. We'd all know soon enough, especially when Martin Tyler nearly broke the microphone when he scored in his debut. He'd arrived in Manchester with a pregnant wife and a baby daughter, not bad going for a lad who was 19 years old. It all ended in tears, despite living life with a constant expression like he just stepped in dog Apparently the man is a bit of a player, he soon became embroiled in a few love triangles, the type of behaviour unheard of for a Manchester United player. He currently has a new girlfriend, Melanie de Cruz, who has been branded a homewrecker by his now ex-wife. An ex-wife at 21 years of age, Jesus. Gareth Bale. Emma Rees Jones certainly bet on the right horse. She arguably showed more faith in Gareth Bale than most of his managers, especially the ones who thought he was just a shoddy left back curse and kept him as far away from the first team as possible. Rees Jones isn't your typical wag, and that's why you've probably never heard of her. The duo met each other in high school, and the former Cardiff hairdresser was obviously big enough to look past the Dumbo ears protruding from his skull. They've stayed together ever since and are currently raising two daughters together in sunny Madrid. So I guess it pays to go for somebody's personality, even when they used to look like something straight out of Planet of the Apes. Aaron Aaron Ramsey. Like his Welsh compatriot, Aaron Ramsey hasn't been one to use his celebrity status to sweep up in the local nightclub. Just like Bale, he met his high school sweetheart in Cardiff, Colleen Rowlands. They wed in June 2014 and have a son named Sonny. Not the most original name in the world, but there we go. In a world where footballers fleece through women like empty crisp packets, it's refreshing to see a man who's been able to stick with one woman for so long, despite the opportunities presented to him. Having said that now, he's probably knee deep in strippers and cocaine as I speak. That's a joke by the way Aaron, please put the lawyers away. Wayne Rooney, probably the most famous wag in England, besides the Queen Bee at Brand Beckham of course. Colleen Rooney met Wayne when they were 12 years old in Liverpool and started going out 4 years later, going to see Austin Powers on their first date. Little did they know that within 2 years Rooney would have the whole world telling him that he was the image of another Mike Myers character, and Christ it wasn't a flattering one. The couple have been dubbed Wayleen by the media, a preposterous name that I simply refuse to use, and they've been together ever since, been married 9 years and are expecting a fourth child. It sounds like a fairly standard normal marriage. You know, just throw in a couple of granny brothels for good measure. Lionel Messi. It was hailed as the wedding of the century by the Argentine media, as Lionel Messi and Antonella Recuso tied the knot 25 years after meeting. The world's greatest player, yeah I said it, married his woman at a celebrity packed event where Neymar turned up to drop the bombshell that he was leaving for PSG. So even when he's announcing the biggest news of his career, I guess he's still overshadowed by Messi. Messi and Recuso met each other when they were 5 years old. She was the cousin of his best friend Lucas Scaglia. The couple have two sons together and are expecting a third child, which is probably the best hat trick he's ever scored. I almost got sick of my mouth saying that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.